Stan Jabalisco here. Uh, what you're looking at is uh, some wallpaper that you can download from a site called Great Images in NASA. And uh, this, of course, is a montage of Jupiter and its moons. But what I'm really looking uh, to show you here is a clarification of what the different core symbologies look like in transformers. Now these all appear to be one-to-one -one transformers but it doesn't matter whether they're step up, step down or whatever. If you see nothing between the two windings as in A, that means it's an air core transformer used uh, pretty much exclusively at RF. If you see two solid lines like this, it means a laminated iron core, such as you might see in the transformer in a power supply for radio equipment, anywhere from low voltage supplies to high voltage supplies. And if you see a pair of dashed lines like this, it means a powdered iron core. Those are used at low frequency uh, LF and medium frequency radio frequency uh, applications. Uh, you may sometimes also see such cores at uh, up to about 30 megahertz. Above that you'll always see pretty much always see air cores. Um, these powdered iron cores by the way are very common in toroidal transformers. So uh, when you see these symbols like this, any one of these three, you can be sure that that's what they mean the core should be. Sometimes unfortunately they get uh, engineers and draw and uh, illustrators get these things wrong and uh, there's nothing you could do about that. Uh, but if you're if it's a project uh, diagram uh, it should clearly be correct. You should not have any mistakes in that. So, air core for RF only, laminated iron core for transformers in power supplies uh, at 60 hertz AC in the United States, 50 hertz in much of the rest of the world, and powdered iron core including toroids, pot cores, and solenoidal cores for use at low, medium, and to some extent high frequency RF applications. Just so you know, you're not confused by what these uh, little lines mean. Stan Gibalisco returning to the planet Jupiter montage. I'm not really here, you know. I mean, I'm not really in the vicinity of Jupiter. The magnetic field from the planet would attract so much solar energy particles uh, that it would fry my brains out even faster than they already are getting fried. Until next time, Stan Gibalisco saying peace out from the black holes of Dakota Toritary. United States of Advancement of Knowledge. Until next time, so long.